It's Gigi No Re. It's a special. It's a special Gigi No Re episode. Uh, we're playing. We're playing Dragonlance. We're entering the world of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we're gonna go 180. We're gonna not do old school. We're gonna do the opposite of old school. We're gonna do Dragonlance. This is the harbinger of everything that was to come. <laughs> And I don't have to prove this to you. You'll see it shortly. We are, I'm running it just out of the module from the eighties. And I told the guys to make five E characters based on the characters that are given like the pre-gens because this is a one E adventure. So I, I hope they did a good job and I'm just going to adjust it on the fly. Not a big deal. Not a big deal for professional GM such as myself. Uh, <clears throat> here's the, here's the prologue. I don't know if y'all are ready for this, but uh, I'm so ready is, for is this. Is it flavor text? Because it's I'm not always... flavor text. It's something, something different. D, D um, I'm I'm always ready for flavor. I'm text. gonna need complete silence. Okay. Mm. A massive chair floats amid soft white light. The gold of its delicately carved frame gleams warmly. To the right of the chair, an ornate stand strains beneath a huge crystal globe. To the left of the chair, they're really concerned about like the orientation of objects in space. <clears throat> Another stand holds a large book. Between the stands, an old man <laughs> in brilliant white robes nods on a glistening throne. One hand rests on the globe, while the other lies poised on the book. The face looks as though the eyes closed only a moment ago. Yet the man does not move, nor does the thoughtful expression change, for this is Astinus of Palanthus, Lore Keeper of the World. Capitalized World, capitalized Lore Keeper. Astinus ranges across the face of the world, searching out the bravest deeds of men, recording the acts of greatness otherwise left unsung. This is the historian's historian. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so the architect? Astinus is there as history happens. Yet the man has never left his chair. You. Dungeon Master, are the spirit of Astinus. You, <laughs> I'm trying. you look upon your mortal body and again bid it farewell. For the greatest age in history of the world, called cringe, is about to unfold. <laughs> you note its passage. The greatest age. Walking unnoticed among the greatest of heroes, seeing history through the eyes of men and creatures, good and evil, feeling what they feel. Now. Turn from, turn from the chair. Leave your mortal self again. Take up your polished staff. I just polished my graph. Walk softly into the light. Remember all. Whew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you posted that as a joke, but but I love it. Uh, I'm great. so ready. It's terrific. <laughs> that's that's you, Daniel. I just can't think how like, that dude's name is not Asinus uh, or the world or whatever. Okay, we his are name, still recording. His name is Asinine of Crimson. Astinus. Oh, sorry. Uh, Dragonlance contains a story. That's what's written right here. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. This <laughs> module is announcing itself as different than what has come before, and mm. it is correct. Mm. It is correct. You're not even supposed to play as your own characters that you make. You're supposed to play as pre-generated characters. Ooh. The idea of the dungeon master as failed, frustrated novelist comes from this. Although these people are <laughs> successful, uh, these people are successful novelists. Though. They, yeah, they are incredibly so, successful, actually. Yeah. Uh, listen, I don't hate. Were they were they successful prior to creating this, or was this to come before that? I don't What's think. This? I think this was like their first thing, but I don't know. Did that improve so, family reunion? So to me, character generation is like my favorite thing about this whole thing. Mm. Well, you mean the one, math uh, of it or like thinking of a backstory for your character and motivation and stuff? All of it. I just I'm like, right with you. I like creating characters. Well, in yeah. this one, uh, you can do character creation by reading a book about your character. Right. <laughs> uh, and then uh, making up numbers. So the whole pre-gen character thing... It's a frustrating idea for me. It's it's like how when you make a character you really like and you write this long backstory that feels like a notebook, except someone else did it for you. It's great. Yeah. It's like it's like being a warrior monk. You mm -hmm. you become what they tell you to be. I mean, I would have created exactly this character. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Good, 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 good. All right, just a couple things to help you get in. Clerical spells have not no excuse me. Gold has no value in this world. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wait, what is Be- money? Because then? it's not the currency. It's steel. Because now is a time of war. Oh, uh, seriously? Yeah, it's really dumb. <laughs> like steel uh, <still> coins, <laughs> or so just still weapons. Yeah, yeah. Steel, okay. steel is obviously valuable because you're going to use it. To I mean, create I, your war machine. Honestly, your isn't armor. isn't now steel still, more valuable than gold? You still have a. I don't think so. You still why have I, a, develop, like, a commodity a metal currency. that's used as a form of exchange. Exactly. They're exactly. being really cool. They they take great <laughs> delight throughout this entire module. Margaret and Tracy Hickman do mm. of wow. putting things that are made of gold that you would normally be excited to see, but now don't Making mean anything like, like door stops. Hey, oh, Daniel, it's, it's, a, it's a gold. Is, oh, I take the gold. Oh, it's worthless. That's is, the interaction they want. Is this a Bitcoin only world? Yes. Daniel, let me ask you something. Supernova hits. All the computers are dead. Our networks are down. So gold is no longer valuable for superconductors and all that stuff. So wouldn't you rather have a steel tool for your farm? Like stainless steel, you know, crescent wrenches and all that stuff. No, no. I'm on should, an all pork economics. economy in that. Day. I'm there with you, Mason. All pork. I'm, I'm no, I feel like we should turn this into an economics podcast. Yeah, let's talk about why we have money. <clears throat> okay, gold has no value in we this don't, world. We don't have money, Jim. We just have gold a, has no value in this. We have an arbitrary, you know, currency of exchange, and I'm happy with, with it. Fractional reserve lending. And I like and that. They, they, <laughs> they took most of the gold. I was from born us. in 1996, and that works for me. I can't hear myself very well, and I don't like it. It's fine. It's fine. Clerical, Can you turn your thing up? Clerical spells. I hear everybody else fine. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stop. GG No Re is over. 200th episode. It's done. <laughs> there stop you go. talking over me, people. You're welcome. Clerical spells have not existed for nearly 300 years since something called the Cataclysm. Mm. No dragons have existed in cringe for a thousand years. <laughs> joke. That's All right. My now joke. we're starting. Now we're starting. So what's the? Yes. What's the cataclysm? I can hear everybody except for myself. Why is this? I don't know. Don't don't worry about it. I I hear hear you fine. Mike Mike 3 is really low. I don't want to touch your board, but Mike 3 is low. You sound terrific from this end. Thank you. Maybe your thing just needs to be turned up. No, but I can hear everybody else fine. Oh. That's what's weird. There we go. There. That's that's all I needed. It's because you're too variable. You're the most variable of volume. You're like, and then you yell. Look, I can't help it that you can't predict me. I'm a human. Tim's house. This is what humans look like. Tim's house. We're going to start. Are you ready? I I had a question. What? What is this? Says cleric spells have not existed, but we know there's wizard spells. What's the difference between the cleric spells and the wizard spells? Why, why are you asking me this question? How long have you played D D for? One no, is, I know that, but I'm saying like in their world, why? Is, yeah, the gods have abandoned okay. us for 300 years. Since okay, the cataclysm. Okay, so, source Thanks. from God. I heard didn't... cataclysm. I didn't hear gods abandoned. Yeah, every cataclysm means the gods abandoned you. Oh, is that what that means? <laughs> no, couldn't, okay. couldn't be a worse 200 episode. <laughs> All right, the adventure begins. The adventure oh, begins. It, the adventure oh, it begins. Could. I would make it worse. <laughs> the adventure begins. <laughs> Give me some of that vodka. <laughs> the adventure begins. Does it say no, the adventure begins? begins? <laughs> no. What? Does it say the adventure begins? Yeah, it says the adventure begins. Okay, I'm ready. Now! Okay, <laughs> now! You see the player map right there in front of you? Yes. Do you see this village right here uh, in the middle? At that dot? Yeah, it's called Solus. Okay. Solus. How do you guys like to say it? Solus? I would like to say Solus. Solus is good. I like Solus, too. Then at the end of the campaign, we call it Solus because... And it reinvigorates us like the sun. All right. Here's... Well, in that one hymn, if you don't pronounce it solace, it doesn't rhyme. Daniel, right? take over. Leadership, mm-hmm. please. I'm just going to mute everyone and just know what the, the podcast is just going to be me talking and responding to you people that are not Mike. Do you guys like oh, that energy? Would be a, that would be a fun yeah. exercise. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, here's the deal. This flavor tech, there's a lot of flavor tech, so just strap in. Mm. You're at solace or just about to get there. It's been like five years, and I'm sure the flavor text will fill you in on this. I, my prep, by the way, dear listener, if you're curious, if you get the module, I just printed off the stuff that needs to be printed out, and I read it once. That's it. So, here we go. The air surges fierce and sweet, carrying the clear musk smell of the woodlands. The soft murmur of stirring leaves, of insects, and of small animals fills the landscape. The clear highland sky blushes with the end of day and fades into starry sleep. This is home. From this rock outcropping, the valley below seems peaceful, untouched. Dense forests of pine carpet the mountainsides, varied only by thick aspen woods. The mountains deep blue in the distance circle the valley floor and form a soft highland bowl. It is a wonder that any beautiful places are left in the world. Before the cataclysm, the days were calm and ordered. Nothing was unexpected. Now the world has changed. Its change has taught two great lessons. First, no this is flavor text. First, no beauty, not even in this valley, is safe. All the riches of the past could not protect the ancient peoples. Gold has no value in the world now. 
It is too soft for swords or armor. Steel is the most valued metal of all, though each small kingdom has its own currency in exchange. Hmm, okay. Secondly, no magic lasts forever. True clerics cannot be found, nor have clerics with miraculous powers been known to exist since the time of the Cataclysm nearly 300 years ago. Five years ago, you and your friends parted to search for a true cleric. Tonight, you meet on the road to Solace Town, and the text cuts off. I think there's like just one more sentence. Uh, here we Wait, go. Wait, it ended with and? Yeah, there's just a scanning error. I mean, and that could be really important when it comes after that. <laughs> I, I, Googled, I Googled it and it's not important. Okay. <laughs> okay, now if the, if the player, this is great, this is great. If the players are using the characters provided in the center of the module, the pregens, you're going to read your backgrounds aloud now. Oh boy. Gold, Gold Moon does not begin the game with the party. Oh, okay. But joins shortly. The chosen one gets, we found now, her later. Now check this out. They go on and say, yeah, you can play your own characters if you want to, but players choosing to play their own characters have no stories to tell. <laughs> oh, burn. Wow. Isn't that always true? Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right, so go ahead, Riverwind. So Mason's see, playing Riverwind. So you guys know my great-grandfather is 100% Creek Native American, so I'm allowed to do this. Yep. I am warrior. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I thought you were a I'll do it. character. I'll do it for real. <laughs> okay, do it for okay. real. I am a warrior of the Keshu tribe. I have loved Goldmoon for many turns of the sun. I remember little of what happened to me after I reached the Forsaken Lands. Everything rises as dark dreams. A black swamp, a well, a kind and shining lady. A leather-winged creature of evil. How much of this has happened... And how much was madness? <laughs> I cannot say. <laughs> Months later, I somehow returned, bleeding, crazed with fever and vision. I presented the staff, but the council scorned it. Somehow, the staff helped us escape in a flash of sunlight. Now we seek control of its power. <laughs> yeah, that was that was excellent. I for the record, Very he's not good. joking. His grandfather actually is 100%. Yeah. <laughs> my, my grandmother is brown, <laughs> yes. for sure. But that, I, I can't top that. Uh, okay. Wow. Sorry, I got Go ahead, Tim. Why You're did playing. he go first? <laughs> You're playing start. Okay, guys, right. you just got to live yeah. up to that. I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, I can't. I can't. Uh. I will forever be in his shadow. Um, Sturm Brightblade. Let's see. I saw the northern lands when I crossed the sea, escorting our friend Kit Kitiara. Okay. Once past the seas, we parted. She Kit went east, and I K went west. Kitara. I searched for. A, I wish. I searched for a holy man, but I also sought my birthright. For you see, I know only that my mother fled the Northlands when I was young. She carried all my dead father had left her: his sword and his ring. From them, I know that he was once a knight of Salamnia. So I journeyed north to take my father's place in that good and just order. But the Salomnic knights have fallen into disfavor with the people there, and no trace of the order remains. Thus, my past remains a mystery. Mysterious past. Ooh. So, <laughs> wait, what's your that's pretty mysterious. What's your character's name? Sturm Brightblade. <laughs> Sturm. It's a fa it's a fantastic name. He's to be the, honest, don't diss uh, it. Yes, my sword. My sword's name is Drung. <laughs> oh no! Is it really Sturm Drung? Well, or did you just not make really. That this. Up? I just made it okay. up. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the, drunk. the <laughs> most recent post in general, the front, the the picture of the three characters that I posted there, he's on the far right. He looks like. Uh, oh, I have a picture. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need pictures That's too. Me. This he, is my favorite episode. <laughs> he's kind of well, got because you're he's kind of got this going on no. with the facial hair, right? No. Yeah, he looks like a gull, doesn't, like with the handlebar mustache. Doesn't the, Sturm sound wait, like he, the Danish the for the storm? Right? Yeah. 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 Well, start in German, it means storm. Yeah. Wow. And Drong means. With the horned helm. Uh, okay. It's storm and. Sturm. Swell. I get I Sturm. I, I get that. That's okay. fine. That's Ed a good name. Education. All right, Stefano. Mason, right. Mason, what was your character's name again? <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's me. Riverwind. Where have you gone? <laughs> Do you always go by Riverwind? You can call me River. Okay. I'm, I'm reading the two towers to the kids for like the second or third time. And one of my favorite things about Tolkien is these guys go into battle. And they stop to shout the name of their sword before they go into battle. <laughs> yeah, they always do. And it's perfect. I love it. <clears throat> so I'm playing Tasselhoff Burfoot. 
Oh yeah. By the way, uh, let, me, let me before you do that, let me read this oh, about okay. Kinder. Yeah, do it. Okay, here we go. Stefano, you're taking off your shirt by the end of the night. I'll take a picture. <laughs> you're assuming my shirt's not off now. <laughs> okay, this is the introductory text where they tell you about the accursed race of Kinder. The equivalent of a halfling in this world is called a Kinder. Yes. Kinder look like wizened fourteen-year-olds, and unlike halflings, they wear no shoe. No. They do wear shoes. Why does he? Why do they think that's the? <laughs> if you want another German lesson, I failed. You know, first level German in college. Um, Kendra's child, obviously. Yeah. Yep. There you go. That that that's it, all. They, it, it brought you something. That's what they tell something. you, and then they tell you their special abilities where they taunt Kinder, you. Kinder yeah. Garten. And their actually the taunt ability is is pretty significant. I we gotta it. we gotta turn that down to zero. Sorry, we're, we're way up. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I want to hear the flavor text. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tasselhoff. Tasselhoff. Tasselhoff Burfoot. I've almost forgotten all the places <laughs> I've been in five years. I wanted to make a map for our travels, but you know how it goes. <laughs> More traveling than mapping. Mm -hmm. Oh, so funny. Sorry. Good writing. <laughs> Wait, is that all of it? No. Oh, okay. To the north and the west, the world has changed more terribly than we thought. A sea lies to the north, where solid plains once were. Where Urgoth, the great ancient empire, once stood... Is this a game about global warming? Mm -hmm. There's nothing more. How dare you? <laughs> There's nothing more than islands. Now I return to Solace and find it run down, ruled by some bunch of root heads in Haven, who call themselves the Seekers. They claim to be a theocracy in search of a god. You figure that out. <laughs> The way I see it, things have gotten worse since I've been in, since they've been in power. I want you to, I, and my, when you said you figured that out, I thought of that, Rust Cole from um, True Detective Season does 1. Does it actually say that? You figure it out? <laughs> you figure it out. Like it, no, it's this saying, is it, the greatest thing his, ever. His character no, that's the end. Yeah, Did you finish? It. Yeah, I finished. So I was going to say, Steph Stefano, do a character voice, but Stefano's voice is genuinely already a character <laughs> it's voice. It's perfect. Okay. Let's, let's be honest. It's perfect. Jim. Uh, so I'm playing Raceland. Mm -hmm. My hero. <laughs> we don't know how any of these are Mashiro. supposed to be pronounced. Uh, Raceland. So, so I don't, I don't know. I feel like he's going to be kind of grizzly. I, I don't, I don't know. So, <clears throat> he's opposite of me. <laughs> At the towers of high sorcery, I passed great tests set by the spirits of long dead sages and wizards. The test wore heavily upon me. Now I see the world through these literal hourglass eyes, <laughs> and much of my what? health has left me. Yet, the magic within me now might give us greater aid. As we departed that place, I recalled the words of an ancient sage. Use your power well, he said. Mary. For the time is at hand when the words are cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the rest. But, but it was important. That, that's all I got. All right, John. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said I wasn't here. Oh, yeah, never mind. Forget about that. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's race, <laughs> Raceland, guys. Raceland. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, wait, picture. so Sorry. does picture. Gold Moon not get to... She would calm down. Okay. She'll, put, she'll get here. Wait a second, okay. John. Please put the wig on. Please can, put it on. I put the wig on when I read. The wig stays on <laughs> during D&D. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's, the, here's the character hair. picture of me there. So you guys saw in general chat... Literal you, hourglass eyes. If you're, a patron, if you're a patron... If you see a close-up, I, actual ha I actually have hourglass is, eye Raceland, pupils. Raceland is very imposing. Raceland which, is probably the most which interesting Which Dark character. Souls boss is that? <laughs> so, if you're a patron, you saw in general chat uh, John with his wig on. It's an Elsa wig, but it looks exactly like Gold Moon. It's a Gold Moon wig. So, so Raceland wears uh, red robes uh, and has a staff. Okay. And that's it. Don't wear underwear. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> what? Is that official? That's uh, official. It's not on my character sheet. 
Uh, you no did post the link for the Dragonlance <laughs> musical in the Discord, right? I don't has it, think I did. Has I've, been, sure? we'll I've been playing later. with y'all for a year. This is unquestionably the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because we're goofing around and making fun of it. No, I know, but it's the best. No, I, I love it, and I'm fun. excited to be I'm one to have this character. Excited. All right, so let me f- continue reading flavor text. <laughs> Daniel, take another shot. <laughs> I'm at my limit. None of you have found any sign of true clerics through all your travels. The bushes to your left rustle. Suddenly dark shapes scurry from the woods on both sides of the road. They're, yeah, that's right. Their yellow, excuse me, their yellow green skin pales against their heavy black armor. Their twisted faces glare from the evening darkness. They crouch in a large circle about you, well beyond sword range. A stout pony struggles up onto the road. Nice. Sorry. Nice foley work. Sorry. Sagging beneath a flabby figure much the same, although larger, than those who surround you. The pony rider suddenly turns his head towards you and yells, Onyx demands the blue crystal staff. Forfeit the staff now or die. (laughs) You mean my crystal staff? (laughs) No, you don't have a blue crystal crystal staff. I have a staff. You have, you have a staff. You have a blue crystal. Blue- uh, do I not have it yet? No, you don't. No, sorry. The blue crystal staff is for Gold Moon. <laughs> have you? Oh, oh, uh, Jim. Have you not listened to Gold Moon's ballad? It's all in there. <clears throat> it's all in the the ballad. Which staff? Which staff should I have? <laughs> I don't know. I gave it to you like weeks ago. Okay, actually, Gold Moon's not with us. I right? think you actually actually. We're about correct. To- you might have named mine blue crystal. Oh, no, I'm. I made. I made two. Anyway, we're we're about to have a fight, so we're gonna take a break to get the minis and all that set up. Set up, and then we'll get you your staff information. Although the staff ah. should be on there. Mine is staff of Magius. Yes, it's, it's different. Fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, we'll take a break to set up the fight. We've got hobgoblins. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm saying baby hobbin, <laughs> baby goblin. Oh, so we'll, we'll we'll just we'll just role play it out actually. So you've got this circle of ten hobgoblins around you, plus the hobgoblin lord guy on the pony at the back. He says, "Forfeit the staff now or die." What do you guys do? Uh, what staff, sir? You know what he's talking about. It's it's Goldman staff. Wait, but you don't have it. We're def we're definitely not giving it up. So you don't wait, have it. So it's a fight. Goldman no, no, we it. don't have it. She's not here. She's not here. Oh, well, we definitely don't have it, but um, let us pass or you will Okay, die. while you're talking, it says he he has a he has a name for some reason. Few Master <laughs> Few Master Toady. I like All it. All right. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. T O E D E. Toid. Toady. I have no idea. I'm going to call him Toady though. Cuz <laughs> that works. Why do they give this guy a name? Anyway, so he you know, waits for no reply. Friendly. He waits for no reply from oh. the party. Give us the staff. Wait, attack! <laughs> <laughs> he has no intention of granting mercy. Wait, hold on. Can I mercy? can I reverse this back? Is this is this a language <laughs> podcast where we say waits for no reply, or he doesn't wait for a reply? He waits for no reply. He doesn't wait for a reply. Okay. Roughly turning his it. sway-backed pony, he shouts, Can I cast a gesture on him? Destroy them and bring oh. the staff to me. Wait, but, okay, never mind. Then gallops into the woods. Yes, you can try to, I mean, we'll roll initiative and you all guys, that stuff. You guys have okay. seen my long sword, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys, you guys started a level range of like three to six. Yeah. And some of you have up to plus three magic weapons. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't understand why I'm level three. Is it just because I have a plus three staff? Uh, wizards, is, that, is that balance? Wizards level up slower in old versions of D&D. I know, but it's fifth edition. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my problem. <laughs> that was my complaint. It's not my problem. <laughs> you're, you're like, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> well, you'll level up faster than the rest of them. But the, then, you know, I have the player yeah. skills. So the god, yeah. I, I understand you giving me The gods third. have granted you patience. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> As a kinder, I'm going to try to steal someone's pony. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. It's time to play Dungeons and Dragons, Dragonlance, Darganlance in the world of cringe. So the way this is going to work, guys, our objective is to get through this module. Your objective is to play to what your character would want to do, which is mostly prescribed by your character backgrounds and so forth. But you can lose. So if you if we end up TPKing, we're just stopping and we lost the module. Ooh. So For real? Yeah. Huh. I'm not here, so does it TPK if they all die? I just no, assume... we do have some backup characters that haven't been used yet. Okay. There's three others. So I just assume Goldmoon would like sweep in here and like save the day because that she's not here yet. And 
Can this be the prologue? Okay, be vanquished, anyway. you vandals. <laughs> yes. Golden voice. <laughs> oh, no. That's going to be funny. You're appropriating gender. Cool. Just, just wait until you're introduced. The flavor text for that, amazing. And it's coming up soon. So, we've rolled initiative. Number one is the skull-holding guy, Hobgoblin. He is going to approach the nearest PC and attack. So please do that, because uh, I can't reach The one with the staff with the skull on it? Yes. Yeah, can you just do like counterclockwise like, really fast? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just, and just roll for the next one. So that's going to be a 15 for 4 damage, or 5 damage. That is John's character. It's no, John's not here. Looks like no, I mean, I'm mean, sorry, Jim. Jim. Raceland. Oh, it's me. You said how much AC? 15. For how much damage? 5. Okay, I cast shield. Okay, I figured you'd do that. Great. Now it is Riverwind. Riverwind. Welcome. Got a plus two longsword, and um, I'm faced with this hobgoblin. Okay, I trust you. You can do it. I believe in you. You got it. Their AC is... Do, 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 do. AC is 16. Yeah. We're converting on the fly. To, to find AC for 5e from an old school module, subtract the a listed AC from 21. Can you experience, boys, tell me how much... What's the damage for... Uh, it would be a D8 plus... For a longsword? Modifier one, yeah, one plus D8. two, whatever your magical bonus is. Yeah, plus two. Yeah. One, plus two. Okay, so, so five. No. So Three plus your strength modifier. Which is probably... Are you 16 strength? Strength four, so... No. Seven. Plus four? Yeah, plus yeah. four. Dude. Okay, so, so seven plus, plus two, two for your magic bonus. Yep. Yeah. yeah so. which is, it's plus two magic sword, right? So nine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, nine. And that you, is... You'll have to ahead. forgive me because... Hey, it's fine. Hey, you know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it, buddy. All right, and that actually kills him. Ooh. So what? Wow. Which one? Get rid of that guy. Get him. Skull. That was... Oh, wait. No, wait. Where were you? Oh, that was a, a well, little I, I need boy. to see what he is. Never mind. Just, this is me right here. That guy's dead. I need to see him. What three. is he? I need to know which one it is. Hand, just He's a him. troll guy. Red three. That's So the red ones I call red three. Okay, red three. Red Ye three is out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, out of here. All right, so now it. do you want to do any extra movement? Are you done? Uh, I'm good. Okay, now it's red two. He's going to move to the nearest guy and attack. He gets... He's going to hit for... Uh, Sturm? 10 damage. Because I, I rolled like a 24. So who? Me? Sturm. I don't know. Whoever's closest. Yeah, it's, it's definitely yeah, 10. Yeah, okay. Okay. And that's... Now it is Sturm. Give him drink. Okay. That boy... Who, <laughs> are they, do they all um, look... They all look roughly the same, except for the mounted guy in the back is their leader. Okay. And he's going to be trying to run away on his initiative. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, this... I want to position myself right here. Just between these two boys. And I'm going to swing my big old sword. Ooh. AC is 16. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, so that's probably going to kill him, because that should be 9 plus 6. Yep. Is 15. Got him. Okay. And Which one is that? R2? Uh, what is you, Spike oh, Club? I don't know. He's got a big... Spike Club? Spike Club. Okay, I got that. And, oh, wait, wait. And because on my turn, I'm a great weapon master, mm. I mm. drop someone with a melee as a bonus action. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Um, yeah. I can, you can you drop can the other attack one. again, right? I can attack again. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to attack the You have movement boy. left, I'm sure. Well, there's a dude right next to me, so I don't need to move yet. Uh, you're going to move at least an inch, right? Uh, I'm, uh, just, I'm just messing around. Just go. Uh, yes. He's, he's, um, you'd have to move zero. Uh, and since, and um, since I'm plus... You have to move at least one centimeter. Uh, as the attack action, you can make two attacks when you're level five. So can I just make... Does it matter yes. how I split those up? Because I would no. get another attack, and then also get my bonus because I dropped a dude. You can do both. Yeah, okay. Get you a fighter who can do both. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to do it. Oh, yeah, as okay, your bonus no. action... Well, I don't think your bonus action is considered an attack action. No. You already took an attack action, but you killed someone But now on you're your just doing action. an attack on yes. your bonus action. And mm -hmm. then... Right, right I'm saying... Doing attack on your bonus This could action. be part of your attack action. Yes. This next attack could be. Yeah, that would Which be the second. Did. Yeah. And then you would have... A bonus. A bonus. Okay. Which is what I'm going to do now. Whew, thank you, 5e, for the clarity Ooh, of your baby. rules writing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I miss, missed. Okay. And you have a bonus... Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, that you, was, that was okay. attacks, yeah. Do you want to move or not? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, small axe guy. So there's two guys with axes. One is smaller. <laughs> small axe guy? It's not this guy. It's that guy, yeah. He moves to the closest guy and attacks for, um, that would be, oh goodness, here we go. 15 AC, no. 4, 3, 4, okay. Now it is big axe guy. He is going to hit 20 AC for 5 damage. It's 5 on Mason. 
Uh, his name's River. River, sorry. Thank River you. Wind. Wind. River Wind. Five on Wind. He said I could call him Rivi. I have a, I have a, sh- a small shield. Does that affect anything? It gives you a plus two bonus to AC. Okay. But it should be calculated already in your AC. You should just look, if it's equipped. It sounds like he did have it equipped because he was I'm using s- a sword. I'm struggling so much. What does your AC show? Armor class 13. Mm, That's not right. That's I don't think what right. armor do you have? Do you know? Leather armor with a small shield. So you should be 15. 15. Is your shield equipped? What's no, his dexterity probably bonus? Probably isn't in the app. It doesn't do it by default. I'm I'm so sorry. What's guys? your dexterity bonus? Um, plus three. So it would be fourteen from just armor and dexterity plus mm. two from the shield, right? Yeah. Yes. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I okay. spent I spent a lot of time trying to make the character right, and I still. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it should be sixteen. So I'm. Did that hit or miss? I forgot what I rolled. Hit. He, okay. Save twenty. Hit. Yeah. Okay. Just decrease his arm his HP by five. All right. So now it the, it's racing. Uh, I'm gonna light these fools up. I just I gotta figure out the best way. Thought to you were it. gonna use suggestion on the guy. I thought about it, but well, just do what you want. Do what your heart tells you. Uh, I don't know why he's named. Maybe he's mm. important. I don't know. Like maybe he comes up again later, and you just kind of it, it. it beats me. Well, uh, maybe we befriend him, and maybe he joins our party. Could, or it, or you kill him, and his friend like another famous quote unquote D and D podcast. Could make befriend the the evil thing in the beginning of the podcast for the rest of our time. Maybe so. Okay, I think I'm going to get... Uh, let's get dangerous. Okay. I think. Or should I try to end it right now? What do you guys think? Dude, just kill stuff, man. Just kill stuff? It, or uh, or end the encounter. I'm end gonna the cast, encounter. The faster we end the encounter, the better. I'm going to cast no. suggestion on the leader. I don't think you have a choice. I here. don't know what any of that means, so you just have to tell me what you happens. You need to take <laughs> a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, yeah, I passed it. <clears throat> Unless your DC is like... 17, uh, 16. Wait, I got a 17. Let's phrase it that way. I, 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 and that's what I was afraid of. Okay. So nothing happens, right? Wah, wah. Great. Uh, are you done? I guess. Okay. Now uh, it's his turn and he uh, runs away. Oh, so bye. You, you can move him off the map. You can move Because he's not. Look mouthy. at your leader running away. Somebody please move him off the map. Move the horse. I mean, the wolf boy. Okay. He's gone. The pony boy. <clears throat> if you want to chase him down later, I guess you can. Now it's Gray Archer. Gray Archer. But he's not really an archer. He's just a hobgoblin guy. Oh, just a hobgoblin. And he's going to hit AC 12 for 15. So he's going nope. go to go for five damage. Ginger. Nope. Okay. So now it's red. Why does that say R7? Red dead. Maybe it's supposed to be R2? It's supposed to be R1. R1. Press R1. Two. That's the secret to win Sekiro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's going to hit AC... Didn't we kill an R1 already? No. no Killed an no. R3. Oh, R3, yeah. Yeah. He's going to hit AC 13 for six damage. Nope. Who's R1? One of the red guys left. He's There's th- only one red guy left. This is yeah. R2. That's R2. He was just going by the number written underneath, not by how many there were. Okay. Oh. Well, did y'all kill another this, red one and not this tell is, me? No. This is R3. There were only two red ones on there. There should have been three. There was a two and a three. An error may have been made in the... Layout, that so red one right there was out. used as R2, so it's something else needs to be R1. Is is there not a third? Is there not a red one anywhere? Okay, I can't see one, anything. This yeah, the one number, that's been killed. This one's number three. This one's number two. So there's not a number okay, one? Okay, okay, okay. Nope. Yeah, look at your nope. guys. Do you have a, a shield and mace guy, a little axe, a big axe? Yeah, 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 this is not. Clerical error. Tell us. Go Just through your list back. of bad guys. No, Tell us I, this is have. boring. Yeah, put him. There he is. This one says No, no, that's not. I don't care. Just whatever. Uh, Don't worry about it, it's fine. Now, yeah, who cares? Wait, this is too long. Orc Archer. Guy with bow, that one. Yep. He's going to move and attack. He's going to hit AC 12 for 4 damage. No. Okay, Gray Mace Guy. He's going to move and attack. He's going to hit AC 13 for 10 damage. No. Okay, Skull Guy. He's going to move and attack. Skull Bro's back. He's going to hit AC... I thought we killed Skull Bro. 10 for no. 9 damage. River Wind. Uh, just gonna swing that long sword again. Yep. And that's uh, plus plus four, so thirteen, and then plus two is fifteen, and the damage yes. is d eight. Wait, what's your strength modifier? Plus four. Well, plus you, four. he also has a proficiency bonus to yeah. attack. Yeah. So you totally hit. And he's got a oh, sword yeah. is plus two, so is it plus two? And so his plus, total yeah. attack bonus is 15. gonna be plus eight. It's four from dexterity, yeah. two from proficiency, two from magic. So yeah. always at eight. What's your level? To- total level? What's your? Yeah, you might have a proficiency level th- plus three. 
No, look on fifth, look, fifth level. Yeah, you got a plus three. Okay, plus yeah. So he's going to be a plus nine to attack yeah. each time. So every time you just add nine. So you actually hit 18 AC. Yeah. When you attack, add nine. Just when you worry do about damage, that add six. I promise, I promise, listener, I'm trying really hard. <laughs> so all you got to remember, just write down nine slash six. Okay. Nine to attack, six to damage. And that's all you need to know. Because you're just a fighter. Yep. And if you use your weapon two-handed, use a... D10. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, don't worry about that, though. He's your sword and shield. Now it's red, too. He's going to naturally miss. Now it's stern. Did you kill something? What, what did he do? He, yeah, you attacked something. Oh, what was you, the damage? He hit, he hit 18 to hit, and what was your damage? He rolled a three. So nine damage. On three. Yeah. Which one? Um, who what did is, you attack? Big axe guy? Big? No, that's, no, that's a... That's a PC in it. This is yeah. this is me. I'm, I'm oh, just okay. wondering which one Daniel. I just you, you tell me who you attack. Oh, I'm so sorry. Closest Get... one would be this guy. Big Get... axe. At big axe. Big axe. Okay, he's dead. Okay. All right. So now it is R2. No, R2 went Sturm. Uh, nine. So sixteen hit. Yep. Okay. So that's over ten damage. To and that's also gonna kill red. What's the remaining red boy there? Red two. R2. And then I killed a dude, so I get to. Pretty sure that's per round. On your turn, yeah, okay. Uh, so 15 can hit? Yep, 15 is what okay. you need. So Actually, that... no, 16 is what you need. Okay. 16. So I missed on that one. And then... And you guys have inspiration, by the way. And then miss Not again. Man, need. dang. Getting all these attacks, but I'm <clears> missing. <throat> okay, small Just axe. missing. Mm. At least you're killing at least one every turn. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good math. Okay, small axe is going to hit AC8 for 9 damage. Nope. Okay, Raceland. I'm positive, Katie. <laughs> yeah, one point oh. I'm gonna try to kill one. Uh, <laughs> That's better than one point oh. Wrestling, wrestling. Well, one point oh round. Or yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I'm gonna yeah. try to to kind of whip around between these two guys, and I'm gonna get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Don't crit. Natural one. Excellent. All right. Wow. Well, anti I'm, I'm, anti real, I'm real whippy today. Uh, I'm gonna use uh my <clears throat> burning hands. Please kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him. Oh, it's good. Uh, that's 11 damage. On you which one? make a deck save. On which one? On all three of these guys. Skull, over here. I don't, I don't know what three skull is. little axe, and what? Okay, grave how much damage? Archer? Uh, 11. So half if they save? Yeah. So five if they save. So skull takes five. Uh, let's see. Okay. So the skull takes five. Hmm. And then the next guy takes, he fails and takes 11. So he, what's the other he one? He did. Skull? That's a little, uh, when a bow. He, Orc bow, orc archer, a gray. Orc archer. No, you had gray. Ar you had gray, gray archer. archer. So gray archer takes S small axe and skull. Okay, gray archer's dead. Okay, and then what's the other one that's hit? Small axe. Small right. axe. He needs. He saves and fails. He's dead. All right, that's a that's a good. That's that was good. good. KD. Burn him. Burn him. Does it say they fight to the death? Let's see. The what? hobgoblins attack. Uh, no, it doesn't necessarily. So now it is R one. Uh, yeah, he's going to... Oh, wait, let me do the proper morale. Uh, no, the morale holds. He's going to attack. And hit AC 16 for three, 10 damage. Uh, whoever he's attacking, he's going to hit him. I guess sure. it's the kinder. All right, so just note that on, on a somewhere on the sheet. Then the orc archer, not the gray archer, is going to attack. Hits AC 15 for 5 damage. Who? Whoever's closest. Well, there's three people at equal distance. Okay. Um, okay. Probably me, right? Okay, clockwise from me, they're the first one. Hey. Uh, well, well, there's Orc. That'll, and that'll there's, be um, and there's me. That'll be him. Okay, we'll just pick one. Well, me, and it's you miss. Okay, great. Now it is Gray Mace, and he attacks <clears throat> and misses. Uh, Skull, he attacks and hits AC 20 for four damage. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Ouch, Hit me. Boy. That's Jimmy. You got me. Raceland. Your hourglass eyes. Riverwind. Didn't see that coming. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Riverwind is invigorated by Gold Moon and attacks. Plus nine to attack. Plus six damage. Attacks the gray. Um, that's twelve. Plus doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Nope. Okay, never mind. Roll a d8 when you roll your d20. Okay. And then everything's that. together. It's a good but idea. Doesn't matter for now. Okay. Uh, Sturm. All right. I'm gonna do it again. But stand back. Yeet. Yeet. Ye that's five. Plus. Who are you attacking? Uh, that would be the bow, the uh, orc archer. Okay, how much damage? That would be eleven. Okay. Uh, is he dead? Nope. Okay. So my second attack action. Yep. You killed him. Okay, and I drop a dude. So that means 
I'm gonna go do it again. Get that skull boy. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Oh man, and oh, fail. But stand back. Oh, man. One of these again. days, I'm gonna get all three. All right, Sturm, you're done. Raceland. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a fireball in this guy's face. Do it. Face. An actual fireball? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Fireball. Oh, okay. I was about to say, it seems like overkill. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that totally hits. It's four plus three, seven damage. Against? Skull. Skull, bro. That's exactly what you needed. hey -o. He did. Now it is... One dude left. R1's turn. I, I have R1 and Grey Mace still up. Uh, well, for some reason there was never an R1 on the okay, board. Okay, well, just put another orc there. Oh, okay. Just put there. He hits AC 17 for 11 damage. Uh, I guess he's closest to you, Riverwind. Yep. 17 for... That does hit you. Oh. Yeah, 11 damage. Okay. And the next guy is Grey Mace. He hits AC 13... Oh, excuse me, 14 for 9 damage. All right, he misses you. Okay. Now to Riverwind. Where have you gone? Hit back. I'm, I'm right back. Hit back at... Longsword coming back at you. Plus 9. Oh, it's 14. Nah. Nope. Plus. Nope. Oh, but he's level five, so you, right. What level oh, are dude. you? Dude, level yeah. five. Oh, you can attack you can twice. Attack again. Yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, remember. I remembered that after my first turn, and then I forgot to apply it on my second turn. <laughs> no. Now nah, you got, you got it. it. Yeah. How okay. much damage? Okay, that's uh, not much. Seven so seven damage against which one? Against uh, red or gray? Mace, mace one. Red one. one. Red. Red. That would be the newly added red yeah, two. Yeah, newly. Okay. Okay. He's R one. So how oh, much damage? Seven damage. Seven. Okay. Seven. I don't think he's okay. dead. He's not dead. Uh, oh. Now it's Sturm. All right, put me up next to that mace boy. <clears throat> nope. Mm. Go again. Oh my goodness. Got it. I get to reroll ones at least once. Okay. Uh, you killed. Yeah, I killed him. Which one is it? You killed. That'd be mace. Mace. And then okay. I'm, so I'm gonna go up to R two. Man. Okay. Mandate. Mandate. All right, Raceland. Take him. Uh, Firebolt. Firebolt. Okay. Oh, uh, God. You can do it. <laughs> Math. Uh, plus five, plus three. It's That's 11. It's 14. Okay, nope. Miss. Raceland. Okay, R1. He's gonna He's gonna go. He's in his battle fury. He hits AC 12 for nope. five damage. Okay, now it is way back up the start. Riverwind. Doing it again. Going back to Mace Boy. And uh, yeah. That's yeah. good. Okay, you killed him. Yeah. Congratulations. You we did some amount of XP. We did. I don't know how much yet, but we'll figure it out later. <clears throat> you proceed. What do you want to do? Do you want to? The guy is long gone by now. The leader. Uh, your an original plan was to meet up with your dudes at Solace Town. Dudes mm -hmm. meaning gold man. Party. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh. Not necessarily. No. In fact, no. Oh. In fact, absolutely no. <laughs> Everybody except not Goldman. That. Actually, I don't. I think Riverwind may not be supposed to be here either, but they didn't make that explicit so if that's Yo. the case who cares mm. all right um so now i'm going to assume that you guys went closer to solace because that's what the yes i think we bind oh, i think we take time to bind our wounds now the moment we've all been waiting for you proceed closer to the if you look at your player map here oh goodness here we go y'all are right there should no it's upside down now you're approaching from the east a town called Solace. You're, that's somewhere. The dot. There. The, yeah, dot, the dot, right dot. Right there. The this circle dot. dot. Did. You continue on your way. And uh, there's a little encounter that happens. Suddenly. A new encounter. Soft music begins. Mm. Its source is a slim, beautiful girl. Lyre in hand, she slides gracefully to sit. Nearby, a large oh, no. plainsman raises a flute to his lips. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess Riverwind wasn't supposed to be here yet, but they didn't tell us that. Uh, can it be a pan flute? Oh, wait. Or maybe they planned this, like they choreographed it. You're supposed to have Riverwind be an NPC, but they don't... I, I didn't figure that out until like I was on the way over here. But well, they because, don't it's, because it's like on the list of all the characters. Yeah, I know. But get, it's on the same place. Listener, isn't it exciting to have Riverwind come to life before your very ears? It's extremely it's exciting. Exciting. exciting, rather. Where'd you get that flute, bro? Made it. Okay, Bruh. let's let's play our instruments now. Came, never mind. Yeah, it says players may wish to use PCs from the Dragonlance story detailed on the character cards in the center of the module. It doesn't say you can't be Riverwind <laughs> until later. But they had this planned. She starts playing mm -hmm. her song. Anyway, and so here like, we go. Oh, I'm gonna play my flute. So lyre in hand, she slides gracefully to sit nearby. A large plains plainsman raises a flute to his lips. 
Oh, the, they're there. The girl's eyes are a bright sky blue. Nice. Her skin is a buttery tan. Mm. Most striking of all is the flowing white gold of her hair. Plush white furs trim her woven cape. A single feather folds... An eagle cries when I'm saying this. A single feather folds <laughs> back along the right side of her head. Her voice clear as winter air. She begins to sing. And now, <laughs> check, check this out. The song of Riverwind is in the center of the module. If Goldmoon is a PC in the adventure, which she is, have the player read the lyrics aloud. Or if he or she has the natural minstrel ability, sing them with the music provided. But John, -E -N -S you definitely have the natural <laughs> minstrel ability. Mm -hmm. uh, I could play the chords on my guitar, but I do not read music. How about we uh, we pass it around and, and say we each read a stanza? Oh How my! About that? Wow! Or a verse. What a creative idea! Yeah, just like Bible. Don't we have a YouTube each read a verse? Of it? There's uh, yeah, five but, verses. One, uh, two, three, four. I five. guess I could just. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the copyright it's, it's claim fine. thing it's fine. would be. It's fine. It's probably fine. Let's Re sing it. Reading's okay. You gonna read it? All right. Do we, we want to play the music? Are we, what is happening? No, no just no. just do no, it. No, no, stop. No, no, no. John, no. really, just no. I can't. I honestly, just stop. I'm honestly not gonna be able to sing it. So you gotta, no, we're not singing it. It's there just prose. It says, it says it. read it. Sing prose. Sing just sing. just read, read it. it. Read it as if, as if I'm your actual lover. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break eye contact. Also, if Riverwind is there, why is she singing the song about wondering where Riverwind is? We just met the up. The song is literally about Riverwind. This is the most conceited thing I've ever heard of in my she life. Wrote no, it no, like no, 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 no. You're Goldmoon. I'm Riverwind. You're singing about me. Yes. You're singing about your BF. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So we're, we're both, very confused. We're both meeting up with the group. You've wondered where I've gone cool. in the song. I've listened to the song. The grasslands are endless. No, 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 and no. And the summer rings on. No, it can't go on like this. And Just gold read it. moon, the princess loves a poor man's son. Oh, no. Her father, the chieftain, makes long roads between them. Oh, no. The grasslands are endless mm -hmm. and summer rings on. Here's the chorus. Drop the beat. No, don't, the, don't. Oh, Riverwind, where have you gone? Why is there a the before? Don't oh, worry, Riverwind. This, please don't. Don't okay. worry about it. Oh, Riverwind, where have you gone? Oh, Riverwind, autumn comes on. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like she's I making it up as she goes. <laughs> you gotta read. I <laughs> sit by the river and look to the sunrise, but the sunrise <laughs> over the mountain <laughs> alone. <laughs> What? The autumn Get, is here. Give me this. <laughs> Let me see. It. Let me see it. What's, what's going on what here? What's happening? I thought we were supposed to pass it. <laughs> here, just give it to me. Too. I read the words correctly. Here we go. Here's the chorus. All right. A river wind, where have you gone? A river wind, autumn comes on. I sit by the river and look to the sunrise, but the sunrise, but the sun rises over the mountains alone. Okay. I like John's version better. Now, <laughs> second verse. Grasslands are waving. The sky's rim is gray. Skyrim. Now released for PS5. <laughs> guys, hold on. The sun rises over the mountains Skyrim alone. 4K. Can you guys not understand the subtleties of that? It's very Do you know how, how long it takes when you wake up at sunrise at 6 a.m. and the sun rises over the mountains? How long it takes for the, for the land to become bright again? Uh, You're ready to start the day and the, and the sun comes over the mountains? It takes a while, so you have to have a lot of willpower to wait on Riverwind. Mm. Oh. The chieftain, mm. the chieftain sends Riverwind east in a way to search for strong magic. At lip of the morning, grasslands are waving. The sky's rim is gray. Chorus again. The grasslands are fading. The summer wind dies. He comes back. The darkness of stones in his eyes. That's you. That's you, Mason. He carries a blue staff, which you threw over the couch, John. Please go fetch it, because oh we're gonna need gosh. it. We're gonna need it. He carries a blue staff as bright as a glacier. The grasslands are fading. The summer winds die. I'm going to mute you while you're doing that. There we go. The grasslands... It's muted. Good thing you muted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you, can you just press the button again? <laughs> Thank you. We have a prop That's here. That's a great prop. <laughs> we have a prop here for the crystal staff. Okay. Uh. Verse 4. The grasslands are fragile, as yellow as flame. The chieftain makes mockery of Riverwind's claim. He She's ordered singing this into the frozen mic. Yeah, she is. He orders the people to stone the young warrior. The grasslands are fragile, as yellow as flame. The grasslands are faded, and autumn is here. The girl joins her lover. The stones whistle near. The staff flares in blue light. Make it flare, John. Make it. Fl Thank you. Now push it again to turn it off. Thank you. Love it. 
and both of them vanish. The grasslands have faded and autumn is here and the chorus, oh river wind, where have you gone? Oh river wind, autumn comes on. I sit by the river and look to the sunrise, but the sun rises over the mountains alone. There we go. That's the song of gold moon. Yay. So Yay. are they just not being reunited or? Wait, that's not clear. I think okay. they've been together for a while. Maybe that's since, okay, since river wind came with a flute, that's probably an older song. That was probably the song that she sung before they were reunited. They reunited, yeah. and then they separated again and converged on the spot where we came together. Yeah. But it's probably an older song. It's a, it's an oldie but a goodie. There's probably a book about well, that. Well, I could tell you where the song came from if I read my bio. Oh, yeah. It's time to read your bio and for you to read your bio. Go ahead, Goldman. You already read his bio. Oh, did That's he? True. At the beginning. Yeah, I remember. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So you got, you guys bio. really enjoyed that one. <laughs> Goldman, go ahead. I am a princess of the Kuei tribe. Riverwind is my guardian, and I nope. am betro my betrothed. <laughs> I love it. Please. And my betrothed. I seek to discover the nature and use of this staff. What staff? You didn't even talk about the staff yes, she, yet. The blue crystal thing nope. isn't right in no, front of you. No, but she didn't talk about it yet in the bio. It just came out of nowhere. You know what it is. Some months ago, Riverwind went to my father and asked for my hand. Father had another marriage in mind for me and, deter and demanded that Riverwind prove his worthiness by bringing back magic to the Forsaken Lands. For months I had no word or sign of him. <laughs> then Riverwind returned. My father, oh. my father's plan was spoiled, so he claimed the staff was not magical and ordered Riverwind stoned in the village. As the stones oh. fell upon him, I ran to his side. At that moment, the staff blazed. <laughs> and suddenly, we found ourselves on the plains west of the village. We searched for proof that the staff holds powerful and good magic. Mm. Until we know how to control the staff, we cannot return to my tribe. You, I mean, okay. you guys, you guys listening, you probably feel the same way I do. <laughs> not, yeah, uh, wait a second. <laughs> love it. Love is real. Love the is staff powerful. Is, we don't know how to control it. <laughs> the staff. The staff represents true love. Yep. And uh, and it is real. And yep. if you're my father and you're listening to this, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no, <laughs> just got real. <laughs> All right. So now a war you're 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 walking in. Oh, I assume that Gold Moon and Riverwind want to join up. You guys all know each other anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, hey guys. Good to see you again. See you. Because I, I didn't push just the leave it on. It on leave it own. on the tabletop so you can easily turn it off if you need to. There you go. Now you guys have been out questing for true clerics for five years and not finding any. So you all know each other. Uh. And now you're meeting back up at Solace. A warm autumn breeze rustles the great Valenwood trees. Oh, yeah, those, the Valenwood trees. Oh, those are the best trees. I don't know what that means. Uh, the great road that wanders through the trees blazes in bright colors of autumn. The staff is going off again. John, please turn it off. <laughs> it, it went oh, off on it, its own, That's though. not to touch it. We have one, and I promise you the best thing you can do is just don't touch okay, it. Okay, well, I don't care as long as, you know. Nobody touched it. Elsa doesn't start talking honestly, about it. Honestly, you, like, jostled the table. That that is a magical artifact, to be honest. It definitely is. John, just put it on the floor, please. Yeah, this, that seems Goodness sake. that seems dangerous. All right, we got the wig. We got a wig situation here. Okay, also wig. <laughs> we got a wig situation. <laughs> Valenwood trees. Okay, great. The great road that wanders through the trees blazes in the bright colors of autumn. The richly stained buildings of Solace rest cradled overhead in the boughs of trees. We got this this treetop it's, village. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. It's in the trees. Mm -hmm. Swiss Family Robinsons. Ewok yep. Adventure. And you guys are going to meet uh, at the inn of the last home. Are you ready for more flavor text? The one in Lord of the Rings. What? You're going to meet at the inn of the last home. The inn of the last home. You ready for flavor text? All right, here. Bring mm -hmm. it. Lay it on. The inn of the last home rests cradled high in the boughs of a Valenwood tree, as do all the buildings here, for Solace is a treetop town. Warm laughter tumbles from the inn. Yes. How do Valenwood trees compare to the trees I don't know trees anything about them. It's just a name. Uh, let's just call them. They're like redwoods. They're big. So you can build a, a town so in them. Less than the size of the Kashyyyk trees. Yes. I can't this this is not Kashyyyk. Okay. I'm not a nerd, so I don't even they're know. They're not like a hundred times larger than a friggin' redwood. Well, like football, <laughs> football fields? Well, yeah. Like, I only know How football many football fields. fields tall are these trees? <laughs> Ten yards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't speak yards. Okay. The <laughs> worn steps wind around the heavy trunk up to the familiar carved door. The end of the last home never changes. You thought it. You thought. But it doesn't. Thanks. The polished wooden bar weaves about several living branches. An old man weaves 
baskets. Yeah, it did, it did use weaves again. An old man weaves stories. Oh. oh, just as the wooden bar weaves around living branches, the old man's stories also weave around living branches of people in the oh. corner and delights the crowd gathered about him. The delicate windows of stained glass behind the... They have stained glass in their tavern? Uh, behind the bar are being polished by Otic hey, Sandath. Hmm? Beautiful things have no value uh, in this society. Uh, just gold doesn't. Well, that's why... They use Federal Reserve notes instead okay. of gold. <laughs> the barkeeper. Otic? O-T-I-K? Otic? I'm going to say Otic. Otic? No, I'm going to say Otic. Otic. Like Otis. Otic. Otic. Odic Sandath, the barkeeper, he turns and waves, smiling at you, and motions the barmaid in your direction. The low murmur of voices fills the inn. The bartender turns thoughtfully to polish the glasses. This is like this op the start of the cringe fantasy novel with Kvothe. But <laughs> the name I, of the wind. I feel, yeah. I feel really at home right now. Oh, yes, the, like the last hey, home. I like that book. So yeah, okay. Just throw in this this isn't a confessional. Yes. I do too. At, at a far table near the storyteller, a man and woman sit together and speak quietly. Another man stands beside the now silent storyteller while a small boy stares thoughtfully into the fire. You guys getting all this? I've only heard one silence so far. I need two more. The barmaid mm. steps toward you, smiles, and shows you to a table. Something about her seems familiar. The hair? The intelligent glint of her eyes? Could this be Tika? The little girl who swept the tavern floors a short five years ago? Oh, yeah, I remember her. The inn never changes, oh. but surely its people do. This, this is good. I love worst. it. This is... I feel like it really like breathed life into this. All the way up till right now, I was like, eh, this is whatever. We met that was that was super cringe. No, 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 that hit hard because we met them in the springtime of their life. That was no, five years no. ago. Yeah, no, it's autumn. All right, so you want to hear the rumors? You talk to the barkeeper. <clears throat> you, you know, you settle in. Imagine, just barkeep. imagine having a no nice ER. having a nice time. This is barkeeper, so check your privilege. <laughs> The barkeeper says, a magical staff. I bet it was forged by demons. Talking about the, the crystal stuff. What about my from, staff? From the terrible... No, nobody cares about you, Rachel. <laughs> I'll prove to you it's not made by demons. <laughs> forged I've... by demons from the terrible darkened woods. Are there any drunk people present? Yeah. I want to touch a drunk person and let the, heal them of their drunkenness. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you this. Um... If there was anyone damaged from previous combat, mm -hmm. a strange thing happens. A crystal staff falls from a fold in Gold Moon's robe, rolls over to the injured PCs, and heals what? their damage. A, the stat, the crystal staff falls out of her robes and then rolls towards. Also, why the would person. you have a staff in your robes? Maybe they mean wand. Have you it seen says, the size of the staff? This is it, definitely <laughs> robe sized that's, staff. That's a <laughs> wand. <laughs> It's a uh, microphone. <laughs> but actually, it's supposed to be a staff. So it says it falls out of her robes. Okay. Huh. You're saying, it's a microphone. You're saying you wouldn't keep a magical staff it hidden. It rolls over to you and heals you. It's literally magic, though. So Okay, so that I'm, that's bad. Anyway. I got like a Fantasia brew thing going on here. Now, let me continue. Or mop. The barkeeper, a magical staff. I thought it was forged by demons from the terrible darkened <laughs> woods. Like the Tesla of staffs. There are terrible <sighs> mysteries in that place there are. Ugh. Ugh. O-C-H. Ugh. What an evil place. Okay, talking about the darkened woods. Then a man at a table says, hooded men have been in town asking about that staff. Strider. Why are you showing off the staff everywhere? An evil lot they were too. I wonder if they were offering a reward. Well, I mean, she's not showing the staff. Apparently it just falls out of her robes Apparently, and rolls towards whoop, people. There it goes again. A man by the storyteller <laughs> says, a man of the Holy Guard rode through two days ago asking about that staff. He said that anyone who had it or had knowledge of it should make haste to the capital of Haven and meet at once with the prelate of the temple there. But I certainly don't want to get involved. And now the old storyteller says, I foresee great and terrible destiny in your eyes. There is a blue staff which you must return to Zach Saroth. There, in but a few days hence. In but a few days hence. That's what it says. That's Love not, it. Okay. But a few days hence. You shall face your greatest peril in contest for the greatest gift given to man. Friendship. A girl at a table says, It was Love. probably found in darkened wood. I heard that the ruins there are filled with wealth and dangers to match. Yeah, that's how people talk. No one <laughs> who has entered that place has ever returned to tell the tale. And now the boy who is looking thoughtfully into the tale. fire says, I saw the white stag up near Prayer's Eye Peak just a few days ago. If only I could catch it. He who walks the path of the white stag is blessed, I hear tell. I hear that people do also talk like that. Mayhaps we shall go there. 
So those are your... Oh, my goodness. Darkened that, Wood, White Stag, uh, the place with the holy people to show them the staff. That's a lot. That's a lot of things. So what you, a convenient You tavern. exhausted all the rumor options. Those are all the rumor options. So imagine you've, you've spent the night, you've got these rumors, and now a, the module expects you to proceed over land. So you've got your map there. I have the keyed version of that. Luckily, each one of these small hexes is one mile. So Excellent. That's it, manageable. Realistic. Yeah. So it will just it will not take you that long to walk through this. You can do three Haven. of those in an hour. Uh, Crystal Lake. So we are... What time is it? 10, it's, uh, okay. Well, at least take a break while they figure out what they want to do. Our, to summarize, our rumors are... Mm -hmm. uh, people talking about the staff. Holy Guard wants you to take it to Haven. Haven, okay. And then... Past the darkened wood. An old storyteller says... Take the staff to Zak Saroth, where but a few days hence you'll face your greatest peril in contest for the greatest gift given to man. Uh, that seems like people talk about really dark important. and wood, and somebody says, "Prayers I peak." There's a white stag. That he who catches it or walks the path of it is blessed. So we need to get hashtag blessed. Those are your options. You know your characters all want to find true clerics. You have background information about stuff your characters want. The blue staff is important to River and Wind and Gold Moon. Mm -hmm. Everyone seems to care about the staff. So I guess your quest is find out what to do with the staff. Mm -hmm. Take it somewhere.